I'm installing the Eaton 816W single straight blade receptacle. This receptacle has a maximum amperage of 15 amps and a maximum voltage of 250 volts. This is the required receptacle for my new window AC unit. Here's a look at the anatomy of the receptacle. On one side, you will find a gold terminal screw, which will receive a hot wire, and a green screw that will receive the bare ground wire. On the other side, you will find one gold terminal screw that will receive the second hot wire. This receptacle does not come with a cover plate. You will need to purchase it separately. When the barn was built, I had an electrical box installed next to the window. This was pre-wired with 10 gauge wire coming from a 30 amp double pole breaker. The breaker was changed to a 15 amp breaker due to the receptacle's specifications. Remove the cover plate with a screwdriver to access the wires. Always use a voltage tester before handling wires. Turn the power off at the breaker switch, then test the wires again to make sure they are safe. Next, remove the wires from the box and spread them out for easy access. Expose the ends by removing the wire nuts. Using wire strippers, remove some insulation from the ends in this manner. Then, fashion a hook on each wire end, as seen here. This circuit does not have a neutral wire. Instead, both the black and white wire are hot and carry 120 volts each. It is code to label the white wire as hot with a piece of black tape or paint. Next, take the receptacle and hook the wires onto the terminal screws with this orientation. Use pliers to crimp the hook around the terminal for a snug fit. Then, tighten using a screwdriver. Once again, the two hot wires will go on the gold terminals, and the bare ground wire will go on the green terminal screw. Next, finish attaching the other hot wire to the gold screw on the other side. Crimp and secure using the screwdriver. Now, carefully tuck the wires deep within the electrical box. Make sure the ground wire is not in danger of touching the hot terminal screws. Secure the receptacle to the box using a screwdriver in this manner. Finally, install the cover plate as seen here. Next, turn the power back on and the outlet is ready to use.